A chipset is like the heart of a device, and therefore, it's always a crucial decision to pick the best one. It is not just the performance, the chip also decides other parameters, such as the maximum camera resolution, RAM, and screen resolution the device supports. We'll put the Huawei Kirin 9010, the company's latest flagship chip, up against Qualcomm's most powerful mobile chip, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Huawei hasn't revealed the Kirin 9010 spec sheet, and it's unlikely to do that in the near future. The new Kirin 9010 chip is nothing but the polished version of the Kirin 9000S found in the Huawei Mate 60 series. For some reason, Huawei has underclocked the Kirin 9010's prime core, which operates at 2.3 GHz. However, the three middle cores and the last four power-efficient cores get a slight clock bump. The clock speeds of Kirin 9010 cores are nowhere near that of Snapdragon 8 Gen 3s. Even the power-efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 core operates at a higher clock speed than Kirin 9010's middle cores. The Kirin 9010 is fabricated using a 5 nanometers technology, whereas the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 uses a 4 nanometers fabrication process, resulting in better power efficiency. The Snapdragon chip also has a faster GPU. The core architecture of the Kirin 9010 is believed to be similar to the Kirin 9000S. These numbers themselves tell the story. There's a significant performance gap between the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Kirin 9010 chipsets, with the Snapdragon 1 leading the race. However, the Kirin 9010, despite having an underclocked prime core, is able to beat the Kirin 9000S in benchmarks by a small margin. But, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is far ahead in the race. The benchmarking numbers for the Huawei Kirin 9010 SOC are terrifying, but it does better than that in the real world. The Huawei P70 Ultra, powered by the same chip, was able to handle Genshin Impact fairly well.